So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to switch on the cockpit capability within SAP Business One 8.8 now that you've installed Patch 12. So uh, I'm not going to take you through the installation of Patch 12. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. Exactly the same as applying a normal patch to SAP Business One. Using the upgrade wizard, as you know, makes the whole process very, very simple, very, very quick, and very, very easy. So I've gone ahead and I've installed Patch 12. Now, when I come into SAP Business One for the very first time, after I've done that, you'll see there's nothing that here that looks any different. So what do I need to do? Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and enable the cockpit uh, at a company level. So there's two steps, enabling the cockpit at a company level and then enabling the cockpit at a user level. So to enable the cockpit at a company level, I go into administration, I go to my system initialization and I go to my general settings. And you'll see here now I have an option where I've got cockpit. I then go and choose to enable the cockpit at a company level and I go ahead and I say update and you can see the system message comes up that the setting will take effect next time you log on to SAP Business One. Now what I can also do as well at this particular point in time is I can go uh, up here into my tools and you'll see I've now got an additional menu up here uh, which is cockpit and I can go in here and I can say enable my cockpit. So what that's done is that's enabled the cockpit not only first of all uh, at the company level but I've now enabled the cockpit for me as a user. So let's just go through the process of re-logging onto the system and as you know the quickest and easiest way of doing that uh, is to go into choose company. I'm going to go up here and change user. Put in my username and password again. Choose my company and say OK. And the Business One user interface now reloads and you'll now see that uh, my cockpit has now been enabled. Now I'm just working with standard sample data here uh, and my standard sample data always uh, brings up my confirmation of recurring postings. So I can just cancel that. And now you'll see I'm in uh, the new cockpit view. So there's a couple of things I just wanna show you here just very, very quickly. This isn't designed to be a training session just to get you going. Um, what you can see now, you have the new menu options across here on the side, and it starts you up in the cockpit. And it brings you up into your home cockpit, but you can also see I have a sales cockpit, a service cockpit, and a finance cockpit. All right, now you'll see at the moment these widgets, uh, you'll see that saying that the widget is not is um, loading or is not currently available. That's because this is the dashboard widget. And the dashboard widgets in patch level 12 are available for you purely, uh, if you like, as a technology preview. So in order to switch on the dashboards, there's some additional work you have to do with the Business One integration framework. I'm not going to talk about that in this video, just focusing on the, the cockpit itself. But you can see I've got my open documents widget, I've got my messages and alerts widget, and I've got my common functions widget. So what I can do is I can go ahead now and I can start customizing my cockpits uh, very, very quickly and easily by dragging and dropping those widgets onto uh, this area across here, which is called the canvas. So if I wanna close down a widget, for example, I choose close and it's just giving me a message that my settings will be lost once I close the widget and that's okay. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add the browser widget across. All I do now is I drag and drop the browser widget across here. Now I can resize that and then I go up here onto the little picture of the spanner uh, which is where I can access my settings. I can refresh the content. I can minimize it. I can see you know information about that widget. So I can go here for settings for example and I can choose this particular URL and I'll just say OK to that. Give that a couple of seconds and uh, the URL will refresh. Now, one of the other things I can do, here's my open documents, for example. If I go in here and I choose refresh, you'll now see that my open document numbers are actually being, uh, being updated there for me. So very, very quick and easy. So there you go, there's my browser. For example, uh, I'm actually running SharePoint here uh, on my home uh, demo system. So I can go in here into settings, for example, and if I put my URL for my intranet, 
I can pop that in there and say OK. And there you can see I get um, my company intranet coming up inside the browser. Now I can choose different components from SharePoint. These different links, for example, let's say I wanted to have my uh, business partners. If, uh, if I want to, I can just choose this particular screen uh, and then I can get uh, my business partners synchronized out of SAP Business One. Now obviously the key here is making sure you've got plenty of screen real estate to work with. I've just minimized my recording area down to 1024 by 768 to make it easier. Most screens now are a heck of a lot bigger than that, so you'll be able to get much more uh, included in your browser in your browser view there as well. Now, what I can also do if I want to, if I want to get rid of the menu, uh, I can just click on the function across on the menu bar across here on the side, and you can see then I get even more space uh, in my canvas to work with. I can then go back if I want to and work with the usual module structure in SAP Business One that you're familiar with. So again, going into business partners and so on and so forth. So very, very quick, very, very easy, uh, very, very simple to work with. And of course, if I want to, uh, if I don't want to switch on the cockpit functionality uh, for myself as a user, I can of course go across here, go into the cockpit function uh, and disable the cockpit. Now, a couple of other things, if I've gone and I've made changes to one of my cockpits, so let's say for example, uh, I've uh, I went in here in my finance cockpit and I made some changes. Well, what I've just decided to do, I want to go back to the original format. Again, all I need to do is go Tools, Cockpit, and apply the original cockpit template. Say OK and bang, I'm right back to where I started from. Now, of course, you can create additional cockpits yourself. Uh, again, I'm not gonna go into that in any detail in this video. Uh, you should stay tuned for more information coming out uh, from SAP, from, uh, if you're a partner, uh, Stay tuned for more information coming out on the channel partner portal uh, from your local product experts. But I'll also be publishing additional information through uh, these kinds of videos up on my YouTube channel. So as uh, as again, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this uh, this short presentation on how to enable the cockpits in SAP Business One 8.8 with Patch Level 12.